Hi friends, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. This is part 1 in Kushto playlist. So Kushto is a query language which we can use in different services in Azure. Like there is something called Azure Data Explorer or there is something called Application Insights. Okay. Or there is something called Log Analytics. So what is Azure Data Explorer? This I have already created one playlist in my Wafa Studies YouTube channel. So please go there and check before watching this playlist. At least watch three to four primary or starting videos from this ADX playlist so that you will understand more about it. Even there we use Kushto only. So better you watch that and then come to this playlist so that it will be more beneficiary to you uh, because I will be using same ADX cluster what I created in that playlist. And in this playlist, as I said, we will be exploring about what is Kushto query language and what are Kushto statements and what are control commands. These are basic uh, terminologies what you should understand first before uh, trying to understand how to write queries in a Kushto language. So Kushto query language also called as KQL. K means Kushto query language. Okay. So what is this Kushto query language? It is actually it's like a query language like what you have SQL only. So the official definition is it's a powerful tool to explore your data and discover patterns, identify anomalies, outliers and create some models out of it. So that means using this query language, if you have your telemetry data in Azure Data Explorer or if you have your logs data in log analytics or if you have your application related logs in app insights so once you have these kinds of data there if you want to process this data by writing some queries and understand what is happening behind the scenes and identify any patterns or any meaningful data or fetch some business value or find some anomalies anomalies means some unexpected behaviors so if you want to do all this you have to query the data right so you will use KQL query language or Kushto query language there to write queries and process that data. It's this KQL query is nothing but like a it's a read only request to the data to process it and return the results back. Okay. So Kushto queries are made of Kushto statements basically. So each statement will be separated by semicolon. For example, you have written statement one here and then you have written statement two. every statement separated by semicolon. So this entire thing called as a Kushto query and each statement called as a like a statement Kushto statement. So this statement may be a kind of a select query on top of some table and this may be kind of a select query or declaring some variable or some parameter something like that right and this may be setting value into some parameter and all so this let statement is something like a, a say declaring a variable and state statement is something like a setting value to it basically the most common statements are tabular expression statements so totally there are three type of statements available in Kushto. so tabular expression statement let statement set statement so any Kushto query will be made up of these statements only and as I said these statements will be separated by a semicolon. So for your understanding let me go to browser where I have already opened a Kushto uh, ADX cluster in ADX web UI. What is ADX and what is web, ADX web UI everything I covered in Azure Data Explorer playlist. So please watch there at least starting few videos. So if you are from SQL background in think like ADX cluster is nothing but like a SQL server and database is like a in server you will have SQL databases right similarly in ADX cluster you will have a databases here I have two databases if you see here and this database contains a table called Strom events okay and right now when I hit this database you can see right now I am my scope is set to that database and here if I write any KQL query or a Kushto query, it will work against this database. So in SQL, you will write select statements, right? Similarly, if you want to write some select query on top of any table in Kushto or KQL language, you have to simply use the table name. 
so once you use a save table name here i have one table name already and once i hit this so i selected this table name and i can hit this run button once i hit the run button i can see results below here in this panel actually you can see my query executed successful and i got data so this is tram events table in my adx playlist i created one video where i taken this data from one of the blob which is provided by azure and kept that into this table so please watch that if you also want to create this table so please watch adx videos surely and uh, this table contains these many columns like start end episode id state and uh, what kind of event it is whether it is a winter whether or so there there are i mean no need to go in detail to understand this data basically it has some storms related information across the cities and type of the storm and everything okay so if you see here this is a kushto query which contains one statement this is one statement so similarly you can write multiple statements as well actually so if you have another table maybe you can use that table also put a semicolon at the end and select both the statements and hit this run button to execute that queries okay so let's go back to presentation and the most common kind of statement what you use is a tabular expression statement as i said so then what is tabular expression statement so tabular expression statement basically it will take input as a table and it will give you output also as a table so for example if you see this statement here it is so for this statement table is a input and it will return back a table also when you execute this to understand more what i will do here is we can use something called operators and when you use operators on top of the tabular statements then whenever there is operator comes it will take table as an input and table as an output and every operator will be separated by a pipe symbol so this may be confusing at this moment let me practically explain you this so let me go to notepad i have one query here already so let me select this and here let me go to my browser and here let me paste this query here and now if you closely observe this query this entire thing is one tabular statement because when i hit this run button by selecting this query it is going to give me back table only as you are seeing it here and if you closely observe here this is a tabular expression so table written back and if you see every operator will be separated by this pipe symbol as i said so these pipe symbols right will before this pipe symbol one tabular input will come and after this pipe symbol the operator will execute and return back a output also in a table what that mean is for example before this pipe symbol we have a table name that means input input is our table the entire data then we have a operator called where then we are using a condition for that operator so that means this operator is going to take this table this table entire data as an input and perform some filtration and gives you back output also in a tabular format so what i am doing i am selecting only these two lines now i am not selecting this so now if i run this query uh, if i run this tabular statement it is going to give me storm events data where state is new york so that means only new york city related information it will give so when i hit this run button if you see now it will give me back you can see all the new york related information it given and you can see here the totally 1750 records now what happens if i select this both the operators so now for this here again pipe symbol that means another operator so for this operator input is this entire thing that means 1750 rows and output will be after executing this whatever it comes so remember this when we use only one operator here we got 1750 rows let me execute entire statements and let me see what will happen so now you got only 191 records that means so if you see here for this tabular statement you have x number of records once you applied one operator the data is filtered to 1750 rows then once you operate uh, applied another operator using a pipe symbol the data became 191 rows that means the order will be in a sequence order it's like a funnel so here the rows will be high and when it comes to here 
the rows will get filtered into some xyz number and that xyz number will go to the next level of operator and here again operator will perform its operation to filter and some abcd number will be returned so that means data is continuously getting filtered one step to another step so it's like a funnel basically so that's what uh, i mean to say like operators are separated by a pipe symbols and every operator will take input as a table and returns output as a table so so far we are clear what is kushto query so kushto query means like for example this is one statement this is one statement so by combining all this we can call it like a kushto query kushto query can contain only multiple statements or only one statement it can contain only one statement or multiple statement and we understand what is tabular expression statements what is let statement and set statement that we will see in our next videos and uh, let's try to understand what are control commands now so control commands are nothing but like a, it is also kushto request only like a queries what we have just seen but the thing is they try to modify the data or metadata so that means whenever you are trying to create some tables or inserting some tables so inserting some records sorry so that case you have to use control commands only so all the control commands will start with dot actually so dot is to distinguish between control commands and kushto queries so that is for a security reasons actually why it was designed like that because in sql there is nothing like that right you don't use any dot for dml statements in short if you want to like uh, uh, see the coincidence between sql and kushto then you can think like control commands are like a dml statements data manipulation like the create statements and other things okay so let me practically show you this let's go back to our browser and here let me write a control command dot maybe create table and i want to create table like logs which contains column like level maybe which is a text type and then maybe message column which is again like a text type okay kushto is a case sensitive language again remember this so the case should be same actually so now let me hit uh, execute this button let me select this and let me hit run this command okay there is some syntax error yeah syntax error right so there is nothing called text data type so we should use string data type for the columns so what i am doing here is i am creating a table with the name logs and then i am creating two columns here level and message both are string type right now you can see in database we have only one table let me execute this query this control command you will see another table also created here and when i expand you can see both the columns here so control commands are to modify uh, the metadata okay or not always they modify the data they can, there are some control commands which don't modify anything for example there is something called show control command and show tables this will basically list down all the tables from my database so when i execute this by selecting it you can see this control command gives me all the table names along with the database names so remember wherever you see dot at the starting it's a control command basically okay so that is also one primary uh, notation or one primary thing which you have to remember in kushto so i hope you got a basic idea what is kushto query language and how to write a basic queries and what are statements in it what are control commands in it so that's it in this video please stay tuned for this playlist i will try to explore all the type of operators and everything in the kushto query language in this entire playlist thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much